Hey, what's up, guys? Your average wargamer is back with another video of World of Warships, and I have another security game for you, which you will be able to clearly see that this ship is the ultimate boss in World of Warships. Honestly, this super carrier is amazing, and the more you play it, the more you realize that uh, Hakuryu is one of the strongest carriers still, and giving them obviously a jet boosters or you can call tactical squadrons like these uh, jet fighters well that basically makes it even absurd it is ridiculous and you can clearly be able to see in this game that what i will actually do to do good damage in this case going directly to annapolis very very strong air this kind of cruiser but well as long as you have heal he cannot able to shoot down any of my planes which you have seen have done nothing like all of my planes are still intact and that's what typically looks like when you are trying to do well in a security now i i'm gonna try to go against satsuma obviously these torpedoes are ridiculously hard hitting 9333 torpedo damage so i mean if you land one torpedo even that could be pretty devastating again okay, well as you can able to see uh, our chain strike to Annapolis, Shikishima, and now this poor eagle. Since I have only a couple of planes left, so I'm fine with losing some. And that's fine because, well, it does have a lot of planes on deck. 26 planes hangar capacity tells you quite a bit that you have some planes to throw, even though these are the most valuable planes. So use them wisely because they will eventually be mostly needed at the end as well again torpedo bombers are really really strong and i would try to use them more often like more often <laughs> than anything since well the value that you can get from them is pretty pretty insanely good in this case obviously there is a napoli that has fighter planes so i just don't want to bother dropping him since he used the smoke as well on the other hand well there is a s thunder which actually has defensive AFI. What I have to do is basically just drop this guy as quickly as possible. And you can able to see the reticle. Oh my goodness. Even the Riga pop up his defensive A. Even the Vermont come off his defensive A. So imagine what is really going, what is happening right now. Like that is an insane amount of, uh, yeah, A. But still, uh, somehow my last plane able to manage to survive and well i do have one squad left like one attack run left which this poor eagle will definitely going to take <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is uh, look at that strategy he, the eagle is trying to turn towards the island so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the border and use it <laughs> to my advantage to basically able to turn effectively and get his broadside and pop the heel since that would help a lot in doing what i'm doing here again well this eagle going to eat another two set of corps and well here there's going to be a bit of a issue that i'm gonna be accidentally keep pressing the three button instead of four since my tactical he aircraft strikes are ready and i want to use them but <laughs> actually actually i just uh, messed up here big time uh pressing the three button instead of four but finally now i'm using these jet fighters well these rockets these are 24 of them like 3 into 8 24 rockets in payload 30 millimeter armor penetration capacity so you can deal quite a bit of a damage if uh, you find a 30 millimeter armor cruiser like this Zhao. Now, i'm not sure if i can able to get that much damage but yeah uh well i think eagle got triggered a bit here and tried to drop me but i mean sikiru has 90 millimeter armor like deck armor so it's not gonna be a big of a problem the bow and the stern armor is kind of bit uh you know not tanky 40 millimeter but deck armor is very very strong for security so it's not gonna be a big of a problem and that's a really huge advantage and obviously now i'm using uh very special uh rockets oh sorry the torpedo bombers so two torpedo bombers having four torpedoes in payload and well even though vermont pop his defensive aa 
I knew that he will certainly going to eat all four torpedoes and they will eventually give me what almost uh, 25 26 thousand damage and also got a flood now, you know these are really hard hitting tops you are throwing four, four of these torpedoes on a battleship that would definitely going to do a lot of damage which you have seen and that is the amazing thing about this carrier now I have now picked up the AP bombs AP bombers are pretty pretty still strong but I know that when there is Satsuma in Vermont I think it's not going to be possible to have a two strikes on this guy so I just decided let's just strike him only once maybe if I am lucky I might get three citadels but two would still be pretty okay so I just dropped this Satsuma very big hull and dropping him and see what happens let's see so two citadels okay I mean decent damage at least I got two citadels not a penetration so from time to time you will be able to use those AP bombs but those are not much of a use sometimes because uh, I I would prefer torpedo bombers let's just be real here also torpedo bombers gives you the most value they are the most reliable tool for Sekiryu and obviously for Hakiryu as well so using them importantly helps a lot now Sekiryu does only have a 36,000 HP remaining and I know he's isolated so if I am able to drop this guy a couple of times he should be dead and since I do have heal I able to save my planes from the uh, extra damage from Vermont and sometimes you get this sort of dispersion from torpedo bombers which is kind of crazy look at that <laughs> torpedo bombers having almost zero dispersion in the middle which is kind of ridiculous sometimes and now I will drop this uh, Satsuma again and uh, well if I get a flood that will basically be it and now I got a permanent flood so I'm not gonna drop this guy I know this will die this this guy will eventually die because of the flood so I just switched to the Goliath uh, to get one torpedo or a couple of torpedoes on the on this guy but well since Goliath has turned in so I might only be able to get one single hit and then my last strike that I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop on this eagle <laughs> it was hilarious it was really hilarious that even the last plane that I have used I managed to get a torp hit <laughs> it's kind of funny at that time so, I mean that how that much reliable these uh, torpedo bombers are like, that is pretty insane and now obviously that small end which will really going to haunt me later uh, small end I have posted a small end video as well you check that out small end has really really strong AA and can be pretty tough uh, for carriers and you will see it's not gonna be easy to fight against small end but it will be for later or in just a couple of minutes so uh, finally I'm gonna use my attack HE aircraft rockets uh, I don't use them a lot since they are pretty effective against cruisers but uh, destroyers it's a bit of a mixed bag I mean sure you can use them against destroyers but uh, the machine time you know the thing is so so much having a delay that I would not gonna prefer that like really I would not prefer that and this small one well I got three rockets sure did some damage but again it's not that impressive I would say could have been a lot better if I would get a bit more damage but the rocket delay is kind of sucks I would say and now again I dropped this small end and completely missed him which is pretty unfortunate and 154k damage so damage is pretty good did great damage uh, spotting damage is still pretty high 113k spotting damage as well so yeah pretty hilarious as well as pretty insane at the same time uh, obviously I'm gonna use these uh, torpedo bombers but what would eventually happen here I'm not gonna be able to uh, spot the Zhao and Smallland here so these tactical torpedo attack aircraft well I'm gonna lose this and I'm not gonna be able to get any value since Smallland and Zhao are spotted in the middle of nowhere and when th well there are three cruisers that are pushing towards me so well since I didn't you know push my carrier towards the sea 
well these all chips gonna come towards me and I have to defend myself against okay, all but you will clearly able to see when I'm talking about that security is ridiculously the ultimate boss you will find out how powerful this ship can be against all odds and in this case well the small end is obviously there uh, I'm gonna drop the Zhao small end actually doing a good job he actually knows what he's doing uh, but I have to drop the Zhao since uh, well, you can see the, the rockets. Look at that rocket damage. 13 and half K damage. So these rockets hit hard. 30 millimeter armor penetration does help quite a lot. So now I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with these rockets. Obviously these rockets are also... These are actually pretty good because they have less machine gun time. And now I'm gonna drop this uh, poor... Not poor, small one, but... Let's be real here. I have to do some damage and six rocket hits, so did 3,400 damage. And what Smallit is actually doing is he's trying to farm the Satsuma, and he's trying to rush me with his speed boost because, well, he is trying to get, he want to get all the damage. So now I am coming up with my most reliable squad, and that is a torpedo bombers. Now Smallit, well, that he will definitely be able to soon find out that. These torpedo bombers are no joke and no matter what he will do, he will eventually going to eat a couple of torps. In this case, he dodged these torpedoes, sure, but then again, I can drop these torpedoes again and he's trying to basically dodge and maneuver in such a way to get some damage. But again, what is going to happen that he will actually going to eat torpedo and <laughs> he did actually eat torpedo, did some good damage here and uh, trying to do as much as possible uh, send the, another set of drops and he's going to eat another torpedo and look at that damage 9000 damage and what would happen eventually is my secondaries will be able to kill this guy i mean <laughs> look at that so that small one with only two torpedoes is dead that's how powerful these torpedoes are use them use them effectively and you can absolutely able to do massive damage to these poor destroyers. Uh, Smallland is also a fresh victim in my case. He sent the torpedoes, I dodged them. I know that keeping myself angled will save me quite a bit of time and I will able to survive as well eventually. And now there is a Napoli which is actually trying to come towards me and kill me. And well, I got a good dispersion of AP bombs and look at that damage. 15 and a half K damage again uh, got lucky but then Napoli basically smoked up trying to rush me with his planes and well he's come up with the fighters uh, right now so what I did I just uh, drop him blind here just try to do something like that he's trying to shoot me but again I'm sort of angled uh, and that's what I can do right now I have not only the HG attack aircraft rockets are ready, but also the torpedo bombers. Okay, now I am coming to the most favorite part. Now look what I'm gonna do here. When I talk, the security is a boss in the hands of amazing uh, experienced players. Well, you will see what I'm gonna do here. Now, as I can able to see that the smoke is crawling towards the left side. And I know that he will broadside here. It was a bit of a, you know, fluke, but somehow I just managed to know that he will do that. And look what's gonna happen. He's gonna eat all three or four torpedoes. Oof, oof, oof. 30,000 damage, oof. <laughs> look at that. And now I come up with this tactical squad and try to set fires if I can. And well, I got lucky and able to set fire. So I come up with another HE attack aircraft and uh, try to see if I can able to set a couple of more fires, maybe able to kill him with one strike. Uh, even though he's trying to kill me with his secondary, it's pretty hard here, but uh, well, you will see what's going to happen. Uh, he's slowed down, probably have realized his fate, double fire, so that is a dead Napoli. <laughs> oh boy, really, really strong ships, Napoli and Smallland pushed you and look at what I did with them like that's why 
carriers are Problem the most solved, stronger ships in the game and pushing them is basically a challenge to deal with and you can clearly see what happened here but unfortunately it's only four minutes remaining and uh, i will try my best i would say at that time i was thinking okay i will try my best to spot the riga and the vermont and what happened is i do spot the riga but in a, a bad bad position riga also have a defensive afr there are a lot of ships that have defensive afr in this game but i will try to get as much torpedoes as uh, much damage as i can in this case riga is on the verge of spotting me due to the spotting that i have like the c detection of the security is pretty pretty high almost 15 and a half or something like that so yeah the riga will eventually spot me and i only have 15,000 HP, 15, HP so I know that I think I don't have enough time to basically able to kill the Riga and the I think not the best thing that I did that I come up with AP bombs but since I don't have a lot of uh, torpedo bombers in the squad right now so I have to basically rely on these bombs and Riga obviously uh, turned here and there and dodged some of my bombs which is unfortunate I mean, I don't have time, but that's what's going to happen. Even uh, as you're able to see, the time is basically very low. It's almost 950 points remaining. And I'm still dropping this Riga here. And get one Citadel. Got his engine again. And now I have these rockets back up again. Uh, but, well, even though I have three minutes remaining, but the time is pretty low. I could have killed the Riga and Vermont at the same time if i would have time but i don't have time and that's what basically you know kills my game otherwise it would be a total boss game and it would be a complete show of how i managed to deal every thing like in a way that sekiru does so unfortunately it's a loss but you can see that sekiru is a force to reckon and uh, if you play it really well, Sikiru does amazing things. It's a defeat. Secondary, close quartered expert, high caliber, confederate, 27 top hits, 2 kills, 5 citadels from AP bombs, and a couple of rocket hits. Not a couple of, quite a bit rocket hits. Did good damage to Zao, by the way. That was pretty, pretty spicy. Team score wise, 1.6k base XP loss. So it feels bad that I have tried to kill. Napoli and Spoland, both of them have played really well and unfortunately we still ended up in a loss which sucks pretty hard but again if you play Sikiri well this is a playmaker without a shadow of doubt ridiculously powerful ship in World of Warships so thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the video if you like it please subscribe and I will catch you into the next one peace out